how am I ever gonna find peace being comfortable in my own skin? The truth is, it's taking everything I've got as a man to become a woman. Because when it comes to being a man, well, I was one hell of a guy. As far back as I can remember, I've had two desires. To be strong and to be a woman. I just never knew how I could have both. Some of these are like my dad's old photos from when he was a kid. And uh, I think that's what this one is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, these are ones when I was a little baby. That's the trailer I grew up in. My very humble beginnings. <laughs> Growing up basically poor white trash, I definitely had issues with feeling less and wanting to not feel that way. There were times where I got bullied and I hated it. I hated that feeling. I hated that feeling of vulnerability. I gave him a book by Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, he read the whole thing. And uh, I told him, I says, well, you do everything that Arnold did and you can be like that, you know? Well, he took it seriously. I started high school at 118 pounds. I ended up at 180 pounds and the strongest kid around. The harder I pushed the weights, the bigger and stronger I got, the better I felt. And this is my high school football photo. On our game days, the guys would wear their jerseys and then the, the girls would wear their cheerleader outfits to school. And um, they would I'd be sitting there in class with my jersey on and I'd be looking at them and wondering what it would be like to switch places and be in their place. And that was something that they said, it's never been out of my mind for five minutes my entire life. Just uh, it was something you just thought about all day, every day, and uh, always been there. And uh, <laughs> tortured me for a really, really long time. And this is my picture with President Clinton, actually taken in the Oval Office. Part of my reason for joining the Marines was to challenge myself to make my own way. And it was another way to push the feminine feelings down and really focus on the masculine stuff. If there was any period of my life I really overdid the macho thing, it was definitely during that Marines. Oh, first bodybuilding show. This was right after I got out of the Marines. We have our half of the championship, Matt Kozileski. Let's go, Matt. We're looking good. Oh, yeah. Nice job, Matt. Good ass, good ass. I can tell you that just being big and muscular means the vast majority of people aren't gonna mess with you. It makes the odds of running into trouble in that way much, much lower. But right after that's when I got real serious about powerlifting. <laughs> Feeling less than everyone else, I had this really deep desire to win. Come on, Matt! Easy. My and as I grew, I met my wife. And while the marriage didn't last, my three sons became the most important thing in my life. It's Christmas 2007. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Dad. Ready, set, go, 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 go. I love my father, but he simply wasn't there. Ooh, cannibal! Nice to see you guys. Do you like him? 
You're welcome, buddy. It didn't matter if I was lying down for bed, I was thinking about lifting. Waking up first thing in the morning, I was thinking about it. You know, I'd be sitting in pharmacy school during lectures, and um, you know, and I, you know, and I did all right and everything, but uh, I would be thinking about lifting. Powerlifter picked by a major supplement company. Being big and strong, it gave me a sense of self. It gave me an identity. I was the crazy guy, the tough guy, the intense guy, the one that could take anything. My identity wasn't Matt, it was crack. By the time I was done, I had bench pressed 738 pounds, squatted 1,003, deadlifted 810, and the world record was mine. Compared to everyone my size, I was the strongest man on the planet. But I felt like the person I was was completely constructed. There was a whole, whole bunch that was missing. And I didn't know if there was anything about me that was authentic. family had known for years that I was transgender. But to the outside world, I was still croc. More than once I've gotten dressed up and broke down crying when I look in the mirror and just so unhappy with my body and how I looked and my lack of ability to, you know, look feminine in the way that I wanted to. What's up, everybody? What you are looking at are pictures of a famous bodybuilder slash powerlifter. His name is Matt Crotch. Uh, right now, though, there is a new Instagram this time around under the name of Janae Marie Croc. As you guys can appreciate, the back gains are absolutely still loyal in my reckoning, even though we cannot see it uh, quite clearly. This is a front lat spread, definitely a sight. Uh, to be seen and the the mass is still actually amazing When that video went public I decided it was time to stop hiding if my story was going to be told I wanted to be the one that was going to tell it Yes. Okay, we're good now. Everybody. We're good now. All right. Well, we're here today with a very special guest. We're here with Janae Croc, and uh, we got a lot of interesting and awesome things to get to today. I mean, I didn't want any of this. That's what people don't understand. I mean, I fought this as hard as I could, as long as I could. Um, this isn't what I wanted. This was never a choice. You know, this is like, it's either this or be miserable, you know, forever. Right. And, um, you know, at one point, it drove me to consider suicide. And to be honest, this will be the biggest challenge I've ever faced, way harder than any of the injuries or even cancer for me. Um, this is way more difficult. Yeah, and, when did you have cancer? Um, back in 2004, um, mm -hmm. testicular cancer, ironically. And I remember thinking, God, I hope it spreads everywhere and they have to remove everything. 
And I knew, like being a pharmacist and having a medical background, I knew that's not how the cancer spreads. That's how overwhelming yeah. this feeling was to need that's to be crazy. female. You're uh, very physical. I mean, you had mm -hmm. world records in powerlifting, mm -hmm. uh, former Marine in general, just a fucking badass. So it's not like you're saying you're a girly girl, but, <laughs> right. but uh, yeah. when it comes to being a dude, you were a tough motherfucker. Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> Sounds funny coming on me yeah, now, but, yeah, yeah. but um, that's the nicest thing anybody's ever said. <laughs> yeah. Janae, don't break down. Yeah, yeah. The hardest thing with my failed transition attempts in the past was there's there's only two things really on my mind: being comfortable, letting go of all that muscle and all that strength. Because not only you know did I enjoy those things for competition and stuff, but it was a safety blanket and always mm -hmm. has been. But then also, how is this going to affect my boys? Um, they're 100 percent supportive. I mean, they've been telling me for years, you know, do what you need to do. We love you either way. It doesn't matter. But they're going from having the world champion powerlifter, super dad that everyone looks up to, everybody loves there. I mean, right. their coach and stuff all love me now they're gonna have the transgender dad have it's very them. permanent it is you know and for them to say hey go do your thing is is really cool but it, I, th I think at the same time it's good that you're recognizing that it's that it's uh, different you know So you said you're kind of transitioning now, and you said that kind of means losing weight? So at this point, I am cutting weight. Um, I've restarted female hormones. I'm moving forward with it. Is it 100%? I've started and stopped five times before, so there's, you know, never say never. At first, you know, an attempt to at transition was just dieting for a few months, stopping lifting. In my most recent attempt last year, I had cut my lifting way back and started taking female hormones and before I decided that, you know what, I can't do this. After that, I, I came back and I got bigger than I'd ever been. For me to be the woman that I want to be in appearance and physical form might not be possible. I don't think I'm comfortable as an extremely muscular woman, but as a guy, that's the only way I'm comfortable. So what do I do? Hey guys, finally made it. Huh? Come on, that's my best day. Oh, good to see you guys. I know it is. I just saw you a couple days ago. I know, it was nice. I got to see your football game too. Max, where's my hug, man? I used to get my pillowcase. <laughs> I don't know why I always bring one. Why do you use a pillowcase for you? Because it's easier on a bed. <laughs> I don't know. Are so right, you going you to the one place today? Tonight, I'm going to go out to the club. Yeah. You guys want to come? We can't. Logan can. I'll Jeff. sneak you in, get you some beers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pillowcase, dude. When are you gonna get a backpack or something? I, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hey, my buddy came over today. We, can, we might have some of the stuff sold with Camaro. It was running really smooth, but then it was bogging when I'd open all the way up, especially like about three and especially about four thousand. So basically, I'm going into each one of these little cells, and this will make slight adjustments. Yeah, and you don't ever, you never want to make big adjustments. That's how you blow motors up. Logan, do you understand this stuff? Not all, not 100% of it, but yes. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't get how you guys know that. Okay, so do you, okay, what don't you understand, Max? What does the spark mean? Now, I explain to you, like, the compression no, stroke, right? No, like, just, like, everything. Like, how many, <laughs> everything? Is everybody buckled in? Mm -hmm. I'm buckled. Yeah, I am. Dad, I didn't, I only, like, one of those words you just said. <laughs> I was like, uh, what's spark? <laughs> <laughs> You'll learn, Max. You'll learn. I'm actually. <laughs> I'm really, really fortunate to have three amazing boys. I told them about being a girl when they were two, four, and six. I'm a very big believer in honesty and openness, so I didn't feel it was right to keep it from them. Oh, too far back. Tara says no. Tara says no. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, that's not fair. 
down. He's going to go back to the boat. Bro, Max. No. No, Dad, hold on. We got speed. We have speed. Let him fall. Max, charge. Charge. Yeah. Max. No. 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 Alright, I might try that on and see. I don't know how that's gonna look. Actually, I might give that a try too. But, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't really. I don't think I really like the way it hangs on my body. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the other shirt actually. Yeah, that should work for the white theme and. And uh, wear these boots with them. A little more dramatic on the makeup tonight, it should be fun. Clothes aren't designed very well for me, and especially being as big as I am. So, can you go through the same thing? Like when a girl starts playing with makeup when she's a teenager, how to best you know apply your makeup and what clothes work with your body and what doesn't? Down. Whose water is this? Is you guys' water? Huh? Yeah, it's mine. Shoot it out. Oh, Aaron Black. No, this, this no. Boy. Dude, I'm not going to play with you. Dude, Aaron Black is like cheese. Yeah, he just shoots you with a gun no, from far Aaron away. Black, so Dude, no, don't be Aaron Black. That's so me. People can say whatever, but the only things that do frustrate me is when they talk about like, oh, you know, what a terrible parent, how, you know, how horrible that is, how could you do that to your boys and stuff like that. And it's like, you know what, screw you guys. You have no idea what our life is like. It's just that assumption that it's, you know, that it's somehow a horrible thing and somehow it's, you know, difficult for them. But really it's, it's been a good thing because it's allowed them to realize, grow up realizing that not everybody's the same and that's okay. And you're happier, which is great too. I don't know, I just felt like you were like holding back and stuff. Well, yeah, because I didn't want you guys to have to deal with a lot of BS and... Who cares about what other people say or, you know, tell you can't do this or that. I think what's, what it really all boils down to, if you want to do something, go and do it. You're the only person holding yourself back. I mean, that's what you've really taught me. I cannot think of a single person I respect more than my father. Same, man. There's really, there's really nobody. I, I really can't. Well, thanks, guys. <laughs> Make me cry and ruin my makeup. <laughs> Good thing I haven't done my eyes yet. Um, Dude, how long have you been doing makeup for? I started really, like, when your mom and I split, I, I had a talk with her and, and, um, and said, like, look, I have to deal with this. I can't do this anymore. As far as she would come is that just do it when I'm not home, the boys aren't home, I don't want to see it, I don't want to hear about it, I don't want to talk about it. And I was like, yeah, I don't know if that's going to work, but, and um, so yeah, that's basically one of, the, one, one of the reasons we split up. Pizza and makeup, huh? That's where we are. Our new Friday nights. Yep. It's down It's down Wait. That's not even cool. Wait, Gary, can I can I test out my move now? Yeah. All right, guys, don't be up too late. All right. Yeah. You leaving? Mhm. Mm Hang on one second. I gotta put my boots on first. Yeah. Mom. Yeah. Mom. Yeah. Yeah, don't drink too much. Don't drink too much. What fun is that? At least it's nice out. Going out as a transgender woman and not, you know, passing as a genetic female 
it's tough. It's hard, you know, and I think, gosh, can I, can I really pull this off? You know, is it really going to work? Am I going to have peace? Am I going to feel whole? Am I going to feel complete? Am I going to be able to, you know, function in society the way I want to? Is this for real? No, I think, yeah. oh, did you need a minute? No, I'm good. Oh. Um, I'm just gonna do a chef salad. Large chef salad. Um, how big are the smalls? A small. No, you don't want small. Those small. Right. Do large. Large, all right, usual. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thanks. A small. <laughs> yeah, right. When do I ever do small anything, right? Uh, chef salad. Thank you. French fries, thank you. Bacon and cheese. Mm. And I will be right back with your vinegar and oil. All right, awesome, thank you. So we're going up north tomorrow, and my mom's meeting Janae for the first time. Oh my god. You know? No, but I'm saying, like, this is your first time meeting your mom as Janae. I said, look, mom, I understood, like, that you don't understand, and that you have a hard time with it, and I, I get all that. I said, but what I don't get, it's been 10 years and you haven't even tried. We can't right. even have a conversation about it. As soon as we start talking about it, you change the topic. So, you know, she's had every opportunity in the world. So, you know, it's, it's her own fault. This is true. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Oh, just letting you know, like giving you the time. Um, probably going to leave here in about 45 minutes or so, so probably around 11. Fine. Okay, and then probably be up there around 1 is what I'm thinking. Are you going to go visit your dad? Yeah, I'm going to visit you first and then go visit him. Yep. Uh, yeah. Fine, that'd be fine. All right, so, uh, so you ready for this? I have no choice, do I? <laughs> well, yeah, I've given you 10 years, so I'm, I'm hoping that you're ready now. I don't know. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, it'll be fine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's well, easy for you to say. You think it's easy for me? Don't you think? Th uh, don't you think it's harder for me than you? No. No. Just for you, it's still natural. Yeah. As a guy, I, I hear from women all the time. They love my voice. It's naturally deep. As a girl, it makes me very uncomfortable, and my, I feel like my female voice leaves a lot to be desired. The vocal surgery would have to be something, well, I'm 100% ready to give up my guy side. You know, it's one of those things that I, I can't do or I won't do unless I was ready to completely transition. I would be much more comfortable having bottom surgery and still living in both genders. The fact that whether I have a penis or vagina isn't that big, big of a deal to me. That really has more to do with um, who I'm with. But the vocal surgery, once you got a feminine voice, it's, um, there's no going back. see you. <laughs> it's not a big deal, is it? No. But um, I still like my man. <laughs> well, for now, there's still both of me are still around, but I can't tell you if it'll stay that way or not. And I guess I'm not as shocked but, about you because the ones I see on TV, I mean, they're, they don't like, they look like a man trying to look like a woman. They, they are, there's nothing doesn't matter. It doesn't it's, matter. Yeah, no, it but I mean, they don't... It, how your body, how you mm -hmm. feel. Would you think that yeah. wasn't his hair, Matt's hair? Huh? Would you, look... Jade's hair? Or her hair? Yeah. Would you think that was her hair? No. Mm -hmm. No, you would think it is. Looks natural, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't know it looks natural. Mm -hmm. And it's not. When Matt first called me, for a while, I grieved. I actually... And I, I couldn't sort my feelings. I thought, why in the hell am I... 
But it was almost like Matt died. And I talked to my middle son and he said the same thing. He said, I love Matt. I don't know this, Janae. Matt is my buddy, my brother. We grew up, we did the guy things, you know. And um, it's hard, you grieve, you hate it, you hide it. You don't want to talk about it. Living in this area, people say, well, how's Matt doing? I said, just, he's fine. That's all I said. I don't talk about it. But it, as a mother, it's the hardest thing I've dealt with. It's like a death. And people will say, nah, it's not. To me, it is. I agree. You cry. But it comes down to it's your child. Once you can love them, walk away, or and I'm not walking away. Having to convert back to Matt sometimes is like depressing a little bit. I really don't like my face, <laughs> and um, I feel a lot better with the makeup and wig on. When I'm going around as Janae, I mean, I'm conscious of how I sound, but it's not like I make an effort. It's not like, I mean, I, a little bit with the pitch, but the way I talk, and you'll notice my mannerisms change to a certain degree, and just the way I form my sentences and the intonation behind my voice, that just all happens. Hey, what's up, old man? Hey, man. Where you at? Uh, at mom's. Leaving mom's right now. I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Oh, okay. That was the last time I saw mom when I saw you when you were camping by the river last summer. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, Should have come up to the UP when I was up here. Yeah, I just didn't have time. You know, what are you going to do? Busy, got to get stuff done, you know? But, um, but if you go up there again, if you do head up there this summer, let me know. I'll bring the voice. I was glad to see Matt succeed at, at what he'd been doing all his life. You know, I mean, he worked hard at it. And, uh, and either me or, or my wife, you know, ever dreamed that, you know, he'd get as far as he did. Uh, I'd like to see him stick with it, you know. <laughs> Yeah, well, things are of course, uh, things 40, are going down a different path now. Yeah, you're 40 what now? Three. 43. Yeah, my competitive days are pretty much over now. Just uh, between age being a factor and then, you know, with the transgender stuff and trying to figure yeah, out Yeah, well, that's something I hope you change your mind on before it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not a matter of changing your mind, you know. You can't change yeah, who you well, are. You don't want to wind up like Bruce uh, Jenner. No, that's... Severe depression. Yeah, uh, no, I don't that believe everything. a lot. Well, sure it does. It's, it's not an easy life. You know, it's yeah, challenging well, and... You better be sure, that's all I gotta say, because yeah. you can't go back. And if you show up here in long hair and boobs, <laughs> I'm going the other way. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, well, what if it does happen? Or not. Yeah. You wanna see me freak? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen one picture of that. That freaked on that. And whatever you call yourself. This is um, where I grew up at. Oh yeah, the secret basement back here. And you'd flip up a door and uh, there was a ladder down into it. And for a while it was my, my dad's pot growing house. And we weren't allowed down there. We were told there was dangerous chemicals. We just didn't know they were THC. <laughs> This big oak back here built a tree fort in, and some of the boards are still hanging in the tree. Down here, there's a big sand hill. I used to sprint up and down this with a, I used to carry a big log on my back, and I'd run up and down this hill. This is where we came to fish in the spring and in the fall, and I learned how to swim in the river and almost died in the river. <laughs> I almost drowned there when I was eight. Um, fell into a drop off and with the current, but I remember falling through the water and seeing the sunlight disappear, seeing everything turn green and then seeing everything turn black.
When there are times when I wanted to get away and I wanted quiet and peace, this is where I'd come. I would just sit there on the bank and look into the water. Yeah, it's crazy actually how much this looks exactly the same. This is a fishing stick from the spring. See you guys. I can't believe it. it's been a couple of years, right? Two years. Since uh, Two years. Vegas, right? Two years. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Yeah. Look a little different. You it's kind of it. Cool. I love it. Yeah. Oh, no, thanks. Thanks. But I'm still fairly muscular. Like I got. No. Yeah. Tiny bit. I'm, I still. I'm still feel very feminine. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm working on. It. I'm trying. I still. What's killing me is I really want to get my waist really small, and I'm having a hell of a time. The estrogen. And that goes on so easy. It's like, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Cheers. Oh, it's yes. lovely, Thank lovely you. to see you. Yes. I have like a billion questions, but then I have none at the same time. You know what I mean? I still, I still would like to have a little facial surgery done, but I'm not like I, I'm kind of hesitant to do it because I like how I look now. Um, but I would still like to look more feminine because like I feel like with makeup and stuff I look okay, but without any makeup or anything. I, I think I still look very masculine So just being smaller altogether has made a difference and then you know just the estrogen and not you know tons of testosterone and Did you find you need to see someone to kind of guide you like would you see a counselor or anybody? I did a lot of the therapy stuff when I was first dealing with everything was, for me It was really no more helpful than just talking to one of my friends just someone I could bounce stuff off of I don't know, like, my sexual, I'm still, it's, it's, it's difficult because I'm, I'm still primarily attracted to women, always have been, still am. It's just, once you get to the bedroom, then it's like, okay, how do things work now? Yeah. That's, that's the tricky part. Okay, so the two options for tonight. This one actually, for whatever reason, my body looks more feminine in this one. Especially if I throw the waist shaper thing on. I can throw the top on right here and then I'll, I'll change the pants. Okay, well, I'm sorry, I gotta throw some money at you, one sec. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I disappoint I you. I, I'm, I'm fatter and smaller than I used to be, so... All right. The favorite shirt. Yeah. There we go. It's been pre-selected. Yeah, like I said, like, I love this shirt. I absolutely love it. I love the design. Yeah. I think it's really cool and everything. But I don't think it makes you look wider or you bigger. You don't think so? No. Woo! You like the white? Okay, the ass. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. What are you talking about? Seriously? They're sheep. <laughs> oh, I do have a big butt. I've always said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm up to 170s today. <sighs> Maybe drop her down to 150s. Probably take those for a ride. 150s. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Good, come on. Push, push. Watch out. Come on, Drew, let's go. Easy way for you, buddy. Let's go. Come on, Drew, let's go. Let's go, Drew. Let's get after this shit. Come on. Wait, wait, Drew, let's go. Come on, sit nice and tight. Don't be a pussy. Get up, up, up! Easy, let's go! for being a weak, weak little bitch. This shit right here is why I can't give up my guy side. You know, it's just loving this stuff and hanging out with these guys. And, you know, this is the kind of shit that I still live for too, you know, so it makes it, makes it hard. But uh, these guys will see me go back and forth <laughs> probably more times than they can count. I think there'll always be too much Matt for Janae to be a, 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 happy if, as a woman. if you want to say a stereotype woman, the, the, 
120 pounds, you know, that'll never happen. That, that, not because, to be honest, he couldn't he, do it. He couldn't do it because this guy, he, yeah. his, his mentality, he can do whatever he wants to do, but he wouldn't be happy. I don't think he could do it. I don't think he could drop, I don't think he could go to 200 again. <laughs> I think you're probably right. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah. the fit, whether it's Janae or Matt, fitness is number one. Always going to be number one. I mean, family, but fitness. He'll never allow himself to get that, you know, small again. I was like, fuck that, I'm gonna be 275 again. <laughs> but uh, these guys are, you know, some of my very best friends, and it is, it's like brothers. I mean, I'd count on these guys for anything, and uh, fuck, I'll get choked up. <laughs> I'd count on these guys for anything, and uh, the way it should be. But it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm, even with the transition stuff. It's just, you know, yeah, you know, they are. They're like brothers, really. Right now, there's just this feeling of being pulled between two worlds and this, you know, complete frustration and how am I ever going to find peace and balance? And, and at this point, I really think the honest answer is I won't. being told that my hair loss is beyond the point where I could actually grow it out, that was devastating to hear because putting a wig on for me feels like costume. It feels like dress up. It feels like pretending. This conference sounds like it's gonna be a, <laughs> it's a little bit of a cluster. Fortunately, I've been doing this stuff for years and I've ran meets, spotted, loaded, um, you know, judged. I've done pretty much everything you can do with all the powerlifting stuff a lot, for a long time, I don't think anybody there really has any experience with it. They didn't really know what they were getting into. Fortunately, there's not a ton of competitors, so we should be able to pull it off okay. This event is specifically for transgender competitors. I'll be kind of, you know, basically helping them run the competition, judge, and probably, probably be a Jill of all trades um, tomorrow, so. Ready, guys? That crease has to break the top of the knee, and that constitutes being low enough and a good lift. So if you come out of the hole and, and maybe come up a little bit, maybe start to lose your balance, go down a little bit, start to come back up, I'm just going to have the spotters take it because the lift's already no good. Any questions at all from anyone before we get started? All right, good luck to everybody. All right. Squat. Up, 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 up. Hey, hey, hey. Rack. Hey, hey. All right. Mm -hmm. The next lifter is Ryan Bird, 285. 285. That's going to be a 25 and a 5 on each side. 25 and a 5. Squat. He's out, he's out, he's out. Up, 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 up. Fight up, it, fight up, it, fight up, it. Fight it, fight it. Fight it, fight it. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, close, good try. All right, good job on the squats, everyone. That's a great lift. That's awesome. 
I've never seen a trans woman nearly as built as you, and I think it's incredible. Like, I was mesmerized by you when I first... Well, thank you. That's so, very flattering. Yeah. Are you going yeah. to trans march tomorrow? I didn't know there was one. See, I didn't know about, like, all this stuff. And, um... Just with a long transition. Um, oh, that's a tough question. Um, I've started and stopped transition like eight times in the last ten years. But what it is, there's parts about my male personality, my male side, that I'm not sure I want to completely give up. There's definitely aspects of that personality. And I actually felt like um, I lost some of that. And I've done a lot of soul searching since my divorce to try to recover some of that. And I do feel that you can because I feel like I have come so far back to where I've, it's almost like I took who I used to be and who I kept trying to become and kind of it's a lot toward. of work and a lot of yeah. the time you know? sure, sure. <laughs> So is this your first parade? Yeah. Mine, mine too, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so both first timers. We yeah. the one in San Diego last year. They stopped the whole intersection. Oh my gosh. How many people were in that? Uh, it's about about 300. Wow. It's not that big. But yeah. yeah. Well, any excuse to go to San Diego, you know? Well, you always got a place yeah. now. We definitely might take you up on that. Seriously. And the same thing. If you're ever like seriously, well, I don't know why you'd want to come to Michigan, but if you ever do. Nice pull. Any big names competing today? Or? No, no, kind of a local meet. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Yeah. Huge yeah. fan, by the way, man. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. You're fucking awesome. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Unbelievable what you do. It's just still competing, though. Um, no, not. I mean, I'm still training and everything. Like. I tried walking away from it, realized this is too much of who I am. It, no, yeah, I can't yeah. do it, man. Never. Will yeah. you compete? And I like that's the one. Um, yeah, you know, it's you know, it's a big controversy right now. And um, especially for a guy like you, who was well, like a guy I, I looked up to. You were the the guy that I was like fucking Matt Rock and stuff. Oh, man, I hate to ask. No, could I get a picture? Of course, man. Of course, of course. I, I, I never ever do this. No, 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 no. It's totally cool. Hey, thanks. Yeah, nice meeting you. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, thanks. Being always, you know, drawn to the strength world and muscle and all that, you're very conscious of your body and how people perceive you. Most of us are very insecure about how we look. Girls that, you know, by most standards would be considered the most fit and most attractive among all the women in the world, you know, have very poor self-esteem and don't, you know, aren't happy with their bodies at all. And, and the same thing with the men.
was only five pounds more than you did. You did the last one easy. I'm telling you, you gotta get psyched up. Come on, here. Close your eyes. Ready? Come on. Ready? Ready? <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. It <laughs> Yeah, it does. Come on, get angry. Come on. Pretend uh, Garrett's. Garrett just turned off your Dark Souls. <laughs> Come on, down up, down up. Let's go, let's go, fast, go, 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 go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, it was close. Almost got it that time. I'm telling you, you should have went for the slap. You would have got it with the slap. <laughs> Garrett, you want to spot me on this one? Yeah. <sighs> oh, fucker. One, two, three. Heck, I might have more than that. Yeah, it was easy. Damn. That makes me want to gain. That makes me want to gain more weight. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard because you know I'm trying to do the guy thing, trying to do the girl thing, but there's no other women in the world walking around at 240 pounds of muscle. I mean, 245 or whatever. And I, and I get that, but at least for now, I, I can cope with being a big muscular woman a lot better than I can cope with being a small, weak guy. If I walk into a, you know, a place of business as a 250 pound woman, yeah, everyone's gonna look. People are gonna treat me awkward. It's gonna make situations awkward. I'm not gonna get treated as well. And, but that's part of the sacrifice, part of the things I have to accept to be myself. Every time we canoe, he, he's like this. He likes to play. I wasn't ready to go. He's never, you know, he's always been in the any kind of sport, always, always play with the big boys, you know, uh, play ball, uh, you know, everything they've done when they were kids, everything I've ever done with them, you know, it's always been the macho shit, you know. Uh, it's a total shock to me. I, I still don't believe it, don't really agree with it. But what he wants to do, I can't talk him out of it. Well, uh, if that's his decision, well, you know, not much I can do about it. I don't, like I said, I don't think it's right, but he's not going to listen to me. You all loved him once. And not without cause He fed you through the winter He led you through the fog You hid behind his body To be sheltered from the mob You all loved him once And not without cause You all loved him once when his glory was unmatched Your signal when to celebrate Was the bugle of his life But when it came time to stand with him You scattered with the rats You all loved him once That time has passed <laughs> I'm gonna bite it. <laughs> you all loved him once, not without cause. You all loved him once, now he is gone. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? 
good, good. Yeah, I just wanted to get a little more, like, okay. it, it went down, but from going too long, like, it, when it fully came back, we're definitely yeah. going to need more to okay. get it back down. So. Okay. Well, but, it looks yeah. good, but I see what it's you're It's nice saying. and balanced. It's nice and even, but there's yeah. just still, like, if I clench, there's still, okay. still a lot of a muscle there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do that. All right. Awesome. Do it again. Let's go, finish it. Come on, lightweight. One exercise, I'm already sweating. That seemed way too hard for you, so I'm gonna go 90s and down. Like now, I walk into a gym as Croc, and everyone wants to be my friend. Yep. You know, and then I walk around like this, and it's stairs, and because as Croc, the stairs were a positive to you. Yeah, and it's so like we're more, more like now. You're you're more worried about passing as yeah. just a woman necessarily. Yeah. But you know, to be honest, you probably make other people feel inferior, not in any other aspect except for the actual size and strength, regardless of you being a woman. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that could be true, too. I'm sure there's, got, you know, guys tend to, everybody always sizes themselves up against other people, and if they, like... It's really hard to size yourself up <laughs> against a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, the day I can really look in the mirror and all I see is Janae and there's nothing else is probably going to be the most amazing day of my life. And I know that, but it's just... I want my boys to be able to be proud of me, and oh, I'm gonna get choked up if I start talking about this. The boys are your, um, I don't wanna call it an excuse, because it's not an excuse. It's not fair to just call it an excuse, because it is that's something you're really gonna have to deal with, and I understand the, the worry for that, but it is slowing you down, and so let's say you wait five years, and then five years comes around, and now, oh, well, you know, this just isn't the right time. Push it back, and before you know it, you're gonna be, you know, 60 years old and there's no there at that point what are you going to do but i think if you can look at yourself in the mirror right now and say that powerlifting is the only thing that makes you special or different there's something seriously wrong with your head so i i, I hate that you think that way and i know you think that way and that's why it's easy to retreat to it because you know that all else fails you're matt crop yeah I mean, I, I think like, 
you know, doing the two gender thing makes life really difficult, bouncing back and forth. And I mean, I know I'm not going to have peace with this until I fully transition. And, and you know, now I've been living as a woman every day for a while. And um, even being as big as I am, it just, you know, it is what it is. One of the big reasons for the trip is the consults for facial surgery, but at the same time, you know, connecting with a bunch of my friends that are out here. It's always nice to meet people and share experiences, and especially people that, you know, have similar struggles. Down up, big air. Come on, come on. Tight, 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 tight. Get up, come on, get up. Yep, there it is. Nice job. And you're in. Come on, fucker. Get that shit tight, let's go. Don't be a fucking bitch. Come on. Wait the fuck up, let's go. Get fucking mad. I want to see this weight move. Let's go. Stand up now. Let's go. Straight pickup. All legs on that pickup. Good. Big air. Lock in your fucking air. Let's go. Look up. Look up. Come on. Fuck yeah. Oh, fucking yeah. Atta girl. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Ooh. Fucking feels good, don't it? Woo. Yeah, first time in a while. Hey, good to see you. Glad you made it. Yeah, with the rain. Yeah. Out of all the times of the year you come, this is yeah. the only time. I rain. know, I know. What's up with hey, that? Hey, welcome. <laughs> nice to meet yeah, you. Nice to you. <laughs> oh, you guys haven't actually met before, no. have you? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Nice even grip. Butt down. Head up. There you go. And explode up. Good. Actually, let's do another one. Slack out. Explode up. Perfect. Good. One more. One more. Go down. Head up. Explode. Good job. Look at that. Tripled it. No problem. A lot of the fears I had that were holding me back from transition weren't legitimate fears, and I've come to realize that. Well, no, it's like when you know when I was doing it, I was a, uh, I was scared that I was always gonna lose Paula. Right. So, you know, like, that was a big part of me. And yeah, that, I mean, that identity. Do you that feel like your... you're going to forget Matt? Well, that's what I was afraid of. Like, well, that's what I was afraid of. Like, and not so much, you know, quote unquote Matt, but like that the power lifter, the, the person that I built so much around and the things I enjoyed, the things I did, and the things I was successful with, I was afraid of losing that. But like, like today, like training, you know, with you and Gracie, and I realized like, no, I'm still going to do all that stuff. And that's still going to be a big part of who I am. Um, you know, it might change somewhat. I'm at that point right now, like, I feel like I'm getting, like, that in-between stage, you know? Like, you feel like me when I shave my face. I'm like, <laughs> oh, God, I can still see female parts of me. It drives me. That's why I, I don't like shaving my face. It's like, even when I go to bed, I don't, I see my scars, or when I take a shower, or, you know, even to the point, like, I still shave my body, like, that brings back memories of being a female, and. And I think, you know, and I don't have lower surgery, so I do get reminded, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah, I do the whole uh, tuck and look in the mirror, like, what's it going to look like? <laughs> you know? Well, trust me, yeah. I, I take a dildo, and I'm like, I really wish I had this size. Or, you know, right. if I if I did have an erect dick, is this what it would look like? Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, do, I, I totally, oh, heck yeah, heck yeah, you do. <laughs> Pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. How about you? Very good, thank you. So, last name is 
Krojaleski. Yes. Mm -hmm. May I refer to you as Janae? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's my legal name. Yep. Janae, 43 years old, pharmacist. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You've had a lot of uh, repair work in your arms and tendons and... From competing, yeah. Are you open to suggestions? Yes, I'm open to, yeah, anything you think would be beneficial. In general, you want the outer one-third of the brow to be at the peak. So okay, it's right gotcha. here. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We don't want your brows up here. Right. right. Okay? You Look don't want that. surprised all the time. No surprise <laughs> look. Okay, I don't do that. So we will reduce this, bring the lip up a little bit, give it a little bit more fullness in a forward manner. And then do the genioplasty, jaw reduction, and finally a neck lift. Okay? Mm -hmm. So would this make you happy if we do yes, this? Yes, yes, it would make me very happy. Okay. Hey. What's going on? Good to see you. Yeah, good to yeah. have you back. Hug, handshake, what have we got going on here? <laughs> yep, both looking good. Trying, trying. Lots of work to do, but still getting got, there. Still got a lot of muscle on you, huh? Look a little bit different now. It's so weird to see facial hair. Ugh. Like, yeah, it's like uncomfortable. But, uh, my mother-in-law, she's like, she's like, this is my favorite one. And then uh, <laughs> I had you in the, you know, in the gym last year, and, and she's like, is that the same guy that I said is my favorite one? I said, yep. She's like, damn. She's like, what should she say? We lost a good one, she said. <laughs> well, I appreciate she said, that. Damn, you we lost a good one. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm still in that process. You take and, uh, like an estrogen uh, supplement, or I've been taking yeah estrogen, basically estradiol, yeah. yeah. And um, but and then uh, are you still doing performance enhancing drugs as well? No, like I stopped all the testosterone no. and all that stuff, and then so, yeah, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah, those two would I mean, fight each other. Huh? Yeah, no, I'll never take testosterone again ever. Um, and, and then the last time yeah. you were here too, I when I picked you up, uh, I, I think I drove you to your hotel mm -hmm. yeah. as Matt. Is Matt still around? No, nope, no, nope. <laughs> Matt's seen he's seen his last days and you know. Hey Garrett! Can you bring me my purse, please? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Oh. I left my one eyeliner in there. And uh Oh yeah, what are they actually gonna do to your face? Like I don't really. Like, you, oh, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't tell us much about it. You're gonna get face, your nose yeah. or something. Yeah. Like, I don't really know. No, what like everything. Um, like what? Like, I don't face, get exactly. It's, okay, so the big things. I, I my jaw and forehead need to be done. And what they do? What are they gonna do to it? Um, okay, so like with males, like you know, you have they have brow bossing in the ridge, and your head in the forehead tends to slant backwards and be flatter versus more convex and mm -hmm. um, more vertical. And so basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna smooth, I don't have a lot of brow bossing, but they're gonna smooth out this part. He's gonna cut a big chunk out of the center of my forehead, reshape it and put it back in. And then uh, my jaw actually. What's wrong with your jaw? It, it's you don't like too, it? too square, too wide, too um, extends too far I as well. A, I kind of have a square jaw, so. Well, for guys that's a good thing, you yeah. know, but um, typically. Yeah, I just feel like this one just really is kind of says me, you know. Fits like my it. personality, mm -hmm. the lifter, you know, the lifter chick and um, yeah, athletic and yeah, it's kind of badass, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready to go? I'm, I'm ready. Put on my little sweatshirt. Dude, one of us are definitely gonna bite it. Okay, Max. Oh, it's a little frozen. Who wants to try to walk across? Ooh. <laughs> oh, double headshots. <laughs> Logan, frisbee. See, right here you can probably get across. This is what, Max, go walk up there. Max, I bet you it's solid, Max. Try it. Most moms would not let you play on the ice and <laughs> encourage you to jump on there. Hey! I have a feeling this is gonna break right in here. I got it before you did, Mom. Oh. I got it before you did, Mom. <laughs> test it, Max. Test it a little bit. <laughs> oh, there he goes. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Oh. 
No, I definitely. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh <laughs> close range. <Point> <laughs> You know, the bond I have with them is, I mean, it's a result of, you know, a lot of effort and a lot of time, and but, it, but it's something that was always there from, from the day they were born. And uh, if I never transitioned to try to protect them from it, I mean, what am I teaching them? That it's more important to conform to what other people expect than to be true to yourself? I, I think that's a horrible lesson. All right, everybody close together. Logan, you're gonna come over here. Yay. Oh, that's gonna be a great picture. All right, ready? To try to be a positive role model for them is hugely important to me. It matters more than anything, and I just really hope I'm doing that. One, two, three. I really feel like this is the best surgeon in the world for this procedure, and this is the first thing I'm doing that is locking me into one gender. In normal voice, right? <laughs> when the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow is a division of white light into many beautiful colors. And now the train voice. <clears throat> There is, according to legend, a boiling pot of gold at one end. People look, but no one ever finds it. When a man looks for something beyond his reach, his friends say he is looking for the pot of gold again. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? You know, I'm transitioning from male to female, and um, voice is one of the biggest issues for me. Okay. And yes, yeah, so. let me show you the surgical procedure. Our surgical procedure. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. shorten this portion. So this is new vocal form. Mm -hmm. So we change your vocal form more shorter, thinner, and tighter. Okay. So, so tomorrow morning we start the surgery. Mm -hmm. Maybe at 9 a.m. Okay. So you should be here 8 a.m. 8 a.m., okay. These are life-saving procedures, and that's what people don't understand. This is like a huge thing for me. I look forward to a point when people understand, when everyone understands, and the whole idea that people would have to live in fear the way they do now will be absurd. And, um, but yeah, it's just, I don't want any to, anyone to have to go through what I've gone through and struggle with this for so many years and to where get to a point where people can just be themselves, you know, no matter what it is and, and, no, one, and no one will think anything of that. The things I do and the way I live my life, if that stops even one kid from committing suicide or, you know, one family from disowning their child, then any sacrifices I have to make are, are well worth it, you know. <sighs> I 
I'm just really looking forward to not having to do the back and forth and just be able to focus on moving forward and just enjoying my life and being comfortable in the skin I'm in and just something I've never known. Good morning, everyone. I know you guys have been waiting very patiently to hear what my new voice sounds like. So here it is. Um, I've been talking for about a month now, and um, after two months of no talking, which was brutal, and um, at first it was a little hoarse and scratchy, but it's getting smoother and higher in pitch every day. Um, my surgeon said it will continue to increase in pitch for up to a year. Um, so for where I'm at right now, I'm really happy with the results and um, excited about where I think it'll end up at. And um, just wanted to say, you know, thank all you guys that follow me and support me. It really does mean a lot. And um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Bye. Horse and scratchy, but it's getting smoother and higher in pitch every day. With every surgical procedure that I'm going to need, it's gonna be about $100,000. And this is money I've been saving for years and trying to put aside and, and, um, you know, and still take care of all my other financial responsibilities. And I'm worried about losing my car, losing my house. You know, how am I gonna take care of my boys? But, uh, yeah, and it's, you know, it's, it's tough and, and, um, and then I'm also concerned that it's going to be difficult finding another job, you know, interviewing, being openly transgender um, is really tough. If I was still who everyone thought I was before, if I was this 270 pound muscular white male, these things would definitely not be happening by any stretch of the imagination. I did everything I could and put it off as long as possible. This is never anything I wanted or asked for. I've been through cancer, you know, I've been through the Marines, I have grew up poor, like, and I don't want to sound like the worst, there's people out there that have had it a lot harder than me, but this is way more difficult than any of that stuff, way more difficult. I had a good career, a beautiful wife, you know, I was a champion athlete, I was on the cover of magazines, and yeah, I knew that there was a good chance I'd be losing all of that. All right, see you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm. 99. Here it comes. Hmm. Ta -da, boom. But what are you going to do? You know, you can't go on hiding who you are. 
You know there's going to be sacrifices, but um, there's really not a choice. You know, for a lot of transgender people, it, it, you know, it does end for the most part when they transition. A lot of people talk about like looking back over their previous life and it, and it feels like an entirely different person. Like a story they read and not something they actually lived, but for me, I, I don't think that story has an ending. Make the best of a very complicated situation and be as happy as I can be, but, but there is no solution, there's no answer.